Hey, it's Panzer Kunz here, and in this video, I just want to show how you can add some custom skins to your game. So the first one we'll look at is the Tier 3 Soviet Bomber, the SB. This is just a standard hangar camo. And then if we look at Winter, Marine, Desert, Summer, which is by far the coolest one, Universal, and then Special it has some uh, weathering effects, and then Red Ailerons. So, you know, pretty nice, pretty decent, but nothing too crazy, right? And yeah, the second one we'll look at is the HE-112, a Tier 4 German light fighter. Uh, the hangar one is just very basic, that grayish, dull gray color. Then we got Winter, which is just adds a little bit of white. Some spots for Marine, Plain Desert, and then regular camo for Summer and Universal. So I'll go a step-by-step -step process of how to, uh, how to upload a Halloween stock custom skins that uh, other creators have made. Alright, so for these two, let's get started and we'll go to step one. Alright, so step one to adding skins to your game is you go to your World of Warplanes icon, your startup location, you right click, and then you open the file location and it brings you into the game. And then you go to res. And then from res, you go to scripts. Once you're in scripts, you go to DB. And you scroll down to find this one that says cache DDB. And all you do is you rename it and put a one at the end. And that's all you need to do. You can just close this. And what that does is when there's a skin that you add to the game, it takes out the standard uh, roundels that, or the standard insignia that the game uses. So for example, that I put a skin on the BF-109, but I didn't do that, and this is what happens. The person that made the skin, they put their own markings, and then the game puts the standard markings also, so you get kind of like a double. And that's without adding the one. When you add the one to that file, and then it looks like this. It takes out the standard one from the game and you fully used all the markings that the person who made the skin is going to do. So that's step one. Just add a one to that file and now we'll go to step two. All right, so step two, you need to find the people that make uh, the skins. So you just go to the World of Warplanes forums, the main page. You go to Community Hangout. Go to Mods. And then down here, Grandpa's Hangar and Paint Shop. This guy makes a lot of skins, and they're very well done. So we want Russian, because we talked about the, the SB. And all of them that you can click on are all the skins that he's done. And <clears throat> each nation has a, a gallery, so you can click on that, and then it shows you how all they look. This is the, the PE-82, the Tier 6 Bomber, I believe. And you can just scroll down. He has a lot. And then kind of just see which ones you like. Uh, the one. He has a bomber's gallery here. And I think the SB is going to kind of look like this. So let's say we're looking for the SB, right? So you click on the SB. But I think he misnamed it. Because it actually says M882. So I'm going to click on the PE2. So here's the SB. So it's actually, he kind of, I think he just misnamed it. But you find whichever aircraft you want, make sure it lines up. And then you download. Step-by-step -step process here. I don't want to skip anything because when I try to find stuff and then the people that made it just skip it. And it's like, wait, how did you get from that point to that point? So what you're going to get is a folder that says vehicles. Airplanes. Russian. And then it has the SB there. And what it is, is just the uh, files that he made that cover all of the all of the type of different camels. So base is the universal. Hangar is the no, no special camel. It's just a standard one. This is marine, special, uh, winter, and woodland is summer. So we have all our files right here that we need in the game. So what I do, you just put that to one side. So we have the, our vehicles folder. You go back to the World of Warplanes, open file location. 
and then we go to res mods and when you and then you go to the current patch which is this one here 2.1.2 .2. when you open this this is all going to be empty because you haven't installed anything so just imagine this is empty all you do is get the vehicles folder and drag it over so i dragged it over and it just copied it so this folder is now in here so now i go to vehicles airplanes russian and now the sb is there see i have two other aircraft also so when you open this res mods 2.1.2 .2, this is going to be empty what you downloaded from that from the download site vehicles just drag this over and it's in so we're going to close that and then we'll go back to the game and uh grandpa's mods he makes aircraft to just work around the original uh insignia so you don't so it, his skins aren't totally overlapping he kind of leaves empty spaces which uh make it easy on some skins that you don't have to cover the entire aircraft but the other one i'm going to show you that guy that does it i think it's hawkeye he creates a total enveloping skin so you need to install another xml uh file which i'll show you too so we're back in the game and now that you saw we have our sb skins uh installed we go back to the SB and now this is the standard one. Remember it was just like a pale green. Now if we look at winter, he added some red here. He added this bar that kind of looks the same. Desert looks like he added some uh, places here. And then the special has now become the summer. So remember this was special. He made this into summer basically universal it was just a darker green but then he added some of the yellow here and then the special he made summer but he added the, the red here so he kind of switched it up but you can see if you like a particular one it's there and the original insignia from russian aircraft are still there so it's as easy as that let's just say you just want uh the universal just put it on all of them and you can see all these here uh, so let's say you don't you don't like it and you want to take the skin out so let's just look at you know the uh, winter winter is white with red uh, control services let's just say you know what I don't like it I don't I, don't, I want to get rid of all this So if you want to get rid of any of the skin oh and it kind of has like a little polished look to it too so if you ever want to get rid of any of them let's say you don't like it just close the game right click file location res mods the current patch vehicles airplanes whichever one you want so this is russian and then i want to take this sb out Right, all these skins, I don't want them anymore. All you do is go here and delete that. And now it's removed. No harm done to the game at all. So if I'm going to go back into the game. And this is important because sometimes you may put the wrong thing or you kind of just messed it up. All you need to do is delete that, that uh, folder and it's completely taken out. You don't have to worry about it. So just to show you I, I deleted that folder now we're going back into the game and it should be just how it was before right loading in back into the hangar and look at that back to normal nothing changed this is just the standard and then winter see how he he added some red here he painted that himself see how remember he had red control here so that's his personal artwork that he did so that's how you add simple simple skins that work around the original insignia 
And now we're going to look at the HE12 once again. And the, the skin for this is going to have to cover these. So we'll go over that. All right, so to find our skin for the HE112 now, we go back to the World of Warplanes forums. We go to Community Hangout. We go to Mods. And then you find Hawkeye, which if you scroll down to the MiG-15 People's Pioneer Air Force of China, this guy, Hawkeye, he's the one who makes a lot of skins as well. Very well done. And you go to Hawkeye's Hangar, and this is his own website. And from here, you go to Planes, Germany. And I can only install the ones that he's already done. See how it says coming soon? He didn't get a chance to make those. So I don't know how to just make them 100% myself, but I do know how to, you can just install what these, these guys have made. So we go to the 112, and then he gives you a preview of what they look like. So winter is going to look like this. Uh, Romanian markings. Summer will look like Hungarian. Desert, he made that himself, his own art. And then Marine is going to look like a Japanese testing unit. So normally you just click here to get the aircraft but this is isn't working so I'll just click on this file and this particular aircraft you need the XML file and you also need the actual skins so the first thing we'll do is we'll just go to the actual skins so here's a file I'll wait till it's opened I'll open it and it's the same thing this vehicles file that's what you need to put in the game, just like we did for the SB. So if we were to look into this vehicles file, it would be the same. Airplanes, German, HE-112, and then it has all of the, the four different skins. So we'll go back to vehicles. This is what you downloaded. And then you go to your World of Warplanes, open file location. I just put it on the left. Res mods. 2.1.0, 2.1.2.0, and then vehicles. All you do is get vehicles from what you downloaded, drop it in this folder, and it automatically goes goes into the right place. So now if you go to vehicles, airplanes, German, and you see I have all these for Germany, HE-112, and all these skins are into the game now. So all you need to do is close this. So he also said that you need the XML for this one, which is this file. So you download this one, and here it is. You see XML. You open that, and it's going to give us a scripts folder. So now to just do the same thing. I know this may not be the best, uh, probably a faster way to do this. But just to keep everything in order, you do, you do the same exact thing. You go to res mods, the current patch. And then you're not going to see scripts here because you haven't uh, put one in there. But his scripts folder, just grab it, drop it in. And now we have a script for the HE112 here. So we inputted the skins and we put the script just as he had said. So let's go back into the game. Oh, I'm sorry. And now you'll see the HE112 skins are... In, uh, installed correctly and that's pretty much it for any of these aircraft if you go to grandpa's uh, site he, he does them without the xml file so if you put some of grandpa's in you may find that they don't line up 100 percent of the time so just find which ones work uh hawkeye uh he the ones that need it he has an X xml file so it's good but some of them he just has like a regular camo also it doesn't cover the entire plane so if you search through those two, uh, Grandpa's and Hawkeye, you could find a lot that they have done and you could just make your game uh, that much cooler. So loading into the HE-112, this is the base, the, you know, the base camel, so it's nothing. But if we look at uh, Winter, you see it's the Romanian, the Japanese. Desert, he made that his own. And then Summer was Romanian, I think, or Hungarian. So you see, now we have these skins in, in, in the game. And Universal, he didn't do anything. And all the markings line up. You don't see any German markings because we, we input that XML file and we put the cache, cache DD1 file. 
and then just add whichever ones you want. So let's say you did this with the HE-112 and you don't like it, you want to take them out. So all you need to do is exit the game, go to the file location, res mods, vehicles, airplanes, German, HE-112, and then just delete this folder and then they will be gone. So it's as simple as that. So it was kind of cool to look at all the skins these guys made. I mean, he's he still has a good amount. So for example, let's say I want the, the Yak-9U. Looks like he only has one from here. So you just download it. This is the zip, which is the actual skin, and then he has an XML for it as well. So let's see what he has in here. Russian, Magnanu, and he just has one for the snow. So he's showing you he just has this one for winter, all the other ones will be the normal. So that's the basic way to install, uninstall custom uh, skins from Hawkeye, which is a very well done, and also grandpas that you can all find on the World of Warprints forums. Uh, so I hope this was helpful. Have fun with that, and I'll see you guys next time.